Welcome back to From the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric. We're going old school. We're just going with the cell phone video intro. Uh, this is going to be a card show vlog from three weeks ago, from March 23rd, oops, uh, at the Hub City Card Show. Um, been meaning to get to the editing of this video, and I just keep on putting it off. Um, I was going to edit it, and then I realized when I started editing it the first time that I started spoiling the last video of the 10 series that I hadn't released yet. Uh, so then I went and edited the 10 series video, uh, you know, put that out, and I just never got around to this. Springtime is busy for me uh, with either both work uh, and uh, I volunteer a lot and sit on some boards and everything else. Um, so even this video here, I ended up leaving the card show probably like an hour early maybe, uh, which I never do. Uh, if you guys know, I'm usually like the last guy leaving the card shows, uh, but I had to leave early because I had to go set up. Uh, for the lacrosse club that I help um, take care of and stuff. We were set up at uh, the Moncton Wildcats final home game. Um, so we were kind of talking to people and trying to get them to know what lacrosse is and where to find it and everything else. So um, anyways, pretty good video overall. Upstairs with Sylvan for this one. Always set up downstairs, but Sylvan said, hey, from Slab Sharks, hey, you want to come upstairs with me? Set up. Uh, so I did. Um, yeah, I said, Lots of stuff in this video. I got a couple deals and stuff. I still got to edit it. I literally just opened everything up. I said, well, I should probably put an intro in to this. Uh, and there's been a couple people that reached out and said, hey, are you okay? You haven't really, you know, released a video in a little bit. Uh, yes, I'm okay. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with a lot of the channel and stuff. Um, just because, like, I was going to open up SB Game Use, and then I was like, wait, I'm going to put a $300 box for one card for one guy. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So Bedard's kind of getting me in a weird little funk. I might be just having to open up older product. I don't know. Um, but just, you know, I don't really feel like, and I'm sure this is some other people too, but Bedard's just getting me in a weird way because I just don't want to, like, I'm not going to buy a hobby box for 400 and some bucks um, for a Series 2 box. I don't really want to spend $300 on SV Game Use. Um, it's just a weird spot. So maybe I go back to open an older product. Um, I do have, I can kind of go over a PSA order another day, um, that I got in. I didn't go over that, but I could probably show you guys some of the stuff I got in from that. Um, and yeah, so like I said, let me know what you guys think of the video. Like I said, there's lots of stuff in here. I know I'm just rambling on at this point, but who's surprised at that? Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the carriage show vlog video and thank you for anyone that's checked in. Really appreciate it. Uh, but here we go. Hey, bye buddy. You? No, I Sylvan asked if I wanted to pop here this time, so I said sure. Sure, I'll bump it upstairs this time instead. So, how'd uh, how'd you make it so far in all year? Did you hit a bedard? Yeah, no. No, I'm not that. Happy. <laughs> I had purchased like a, we were able to get like six pre-sale tins. Yeah. 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 And uh, we split them and he got, yeah, this time he got uh, gl the glossy and the uh, checklist. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so mine had nothing at all. But we had Lori in, like I had Lori in mine. Yeah. It was just like, oh my God. You're like, I got six. Yeah. Yeah. Had it. yeah. I hit two Lori's. I hit two lawyers of mine, but never only hit the one with iron. I was like, I hit, I used, like, but eventually I put out the rest of them. Like, I get into, like, I, I probably hit in my tens, I probably hit like 12 doubles of young guns. And I was like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> but I noticed there's a lot of duplicates. Yeah. And everything I keep, I purchased at Boss of uh, Parker's. Yeah. Everything I got was duplicates. So I got my like, base rookie and then the silver. Right? The, the Me, silver. it's the, it was the, the tins and the blast. Like even like, um, I probably have, I have one in there. It was like Jake Livingstone, like Young Guns Canvas. I hit one in my tin box, my tin case. My, my, like all three, I'm like, what is the fucking chances of me hitting this goddamn thing? Like, so, it just is what it is. But yeah, I I hit like the same correlation for like everything. I'm like, yeah. this is wild. That's like that's big because you bought like three cases of different products too. So like, yeah, uh, like I said, I ended up with 
two two of that. I ended up with like doubles of like everything. I'm like, even like well, that, that was like the funny like two yeah. of that in the same case. I'm like, what if, what is going on? Why am I hitting the a double of pass a highlight? It's like no, no. no just wasn't. I did. I definitely did better on my retail stuff than I did my 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 hobby stuff. Like. Hobby, I took a bath like hard, but I I knew that going into it. I kind of said like, you know, this is for the content. I some had someone like, well, why you know, why would you even open up this product? I'm like, I'm a channel on YouTube who opens up product. I'm like, if I didn't open up any series two, it would be pretty weird. Like, hey, the most hype product of all time. Uh, I didn't open any of it because I didn't want to. No. Well, that's. If I hadn't pre, if I hadn't pre-ordered, I probably wouldn't have uh, done the hobby. But I already had two hundred dollars. I had about two hundred dollars case that, that bundle they had, and then. Just put it aside for me. I'll yeah. Come back. Okay. I'll take it for sure either way. Okay. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay, buddy. Um, and um, anyways, I I went and I was like, okay, and then I was like, well, I'm like, I need a full case. I'm like, I have eight. Cause I got my buddy to pre-order four, and I pre-ordered four. So I'm like, I need I need the other four, cause I can't not have. Like, I know I'm gonna get at least one Bedard in the, in the case. And like, if I get the eight box, and it would have happened that I would have had like, my first eight, like, so I was like, if that would have been the case, I would have been like so pissed that I'm like, I spent two, you know, all this money and not hit the Bedard, and I'm like, so. Oh. Yeah. 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 My big thing with the tins, I am hitting like uh, I doubled up on like the Bedard gloss. I tripled up on the Bedard glossies. I end up doubling up on uh, the checklist. Uh, I end up. I hit a portrait, so I hit like I hit a lot of Bedard, and then I already also hit the, hit the one young gun. So like I hit a lot of Bedards in, in the in the tin case, but. I, don't know, I think tins are the way to go. They're expensive, obviously. Like, who the hell wants to pay 90 bucks for a tin? But I think having four young guns in it instead of like, you know, the last couple of years it's really been like two young guns. So it's like, you know. Yeah. I Did you purchase uh, Parker's yet? No, probably won't. There's a lot of uh, like good autos, but they're yeah, right there, right here. They're tough to get. Are they? Yeah, yeah. I, it's not a product I ever really followed a whole lot of, so like I don't really know it. So it's like. It was a product that I was looking for because when it was revealed, it was like almost last year. Yeah. I was kind of hoping it got out to the last one. Yeah. So I, I purchased it because I, I was just waiting. For I know. It. Yeah. I think at the lower price for the bit. Yeah. Uh, I bought like. Well, it's, it's a couple of the boys opened up uh, uh, at the Amherst show. They bought a box of Opeachy paper, like Bedard here. And just got, yeah. Well, one of them actually hit the Luke Evangelista out of 33, same as like your Cooley. And I was like looking at the prices after, and it was like 20, 25 bucks. I'm like, I tried to sell mine, uh, like, like, yeah. yeah. Like, I started at, uh, it was 360. Yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Like
It's all. And you can see it too, like everything is burned down, like everything else is burned down. Yeah. It's, I, I, I mentioned a couple times, like, I think it's almost like, I was kind of cranky at the start that, like, until he wasn't in Series 2, but I'm like, I'm almost glad he's not. Like, maybe he has a chance of being, like, a decently valued him and Cooley. Like, maybe they might have some value now. Just, when you look at, like, Leo Carlson, he's, like, 30, 35 bucks, 40 bucks. I'm like, yeah. yeah. That guy on the main player. Yeah. 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 They would have just been washed away. Just because it becomes so much of a chase, right? It becomes all like, I want to chase this, chase this, chase this. Like, which I understand. And you almost have, like, you have to chase Bedard because, like, the cost cost so much that like you can't be happy with anybody else like you know if you have a hobby box and you hit a base you know you ha don't have your bedard and your hobby box you're like i just spent 400 and some dollars plus tax like dm's 375 but like i was looking around like uh 401s 400 a couple other places like they're all 400 plus like dm's actually like cheap for it compared to like online from a lot of them and then the states it's it's 400 us i'm like that is some stuff that you can't play into in the US. Like some stuff is really cheap and then some stuff you're cheaper than that. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I find the older stuff they're cheaper on. Yeah. And but like the newer stuff they're high on. Yeah. Right? But I don't know. It, it is what it is. It's uh it goes up and down at the end of the day. Yeah, well, it's, I, I hear it every every video, and it's like, I'm not blah, blah, and I'm like, I always laugh. Everyone's like, oh, you know, the kids can't afford it because the hobby box for him. I'm like, man, I'm telling you, my parents were buying me a hobby box when I was like 10 years. I, maybe it's different nowadays, but I'm like, I'm like, it's $150 plus for a hobby box no matter what. So it's like, if it's 150 bucks, like, huh. You know, you're gonna buy a blaster, you're gonna buy, t like, once again, tins aren't cheap, don't be wrong, but like, you know, you can still buy a tin if you find it at Walmart, right? Like, yes, you gotta go to D&M, it's, it's, it's way more, don't be wrong, but. Like packs, when yeah. I was a kid, it was just like packs. Or singles, boxes. or you bought singles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know, but some people, you can't have a discussion with them. Yeah. No. Like, uh, I had like two that commented on my, my two channels that I just deleted the comment because at some point, yeah. I don't wanna, because some of my followers yeah. showing in and just like, go against them. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty good for like not, there's one guy that claimed I deleted his post for like on my great on the PSA video I did and buddy's like you deleted my comment I was like I didn't delete a comment like what the hell are you talking about and what a, and and I, it must have got flagged I don't even know why so I didn't even see it and then he sent another he, he posted something else afterwards and I did delete it but it was like uh he just said something weird like and it, and it looked like a spam account so I'm like okay this is to try to get people to click his account and like, I, I, I don't know, so I deleted it. But the, I didn't delete the first one. He's, he's, like, he's like, just so everyone knows, he's deleting my comments, blah, blah. Obviously, he doesn't want the conversation about the different grading companies. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I had one guy the other day who says something like, he's, he's, he's like, he's like guys that announce the base cards, and I'm like, yeah, I do all the time, because I just go through. I'm like, I, know, that's why I always joke now. I'm like, I'm like, if you want to watch somebody speed run a fucking case, go look up a breaker. There's tons. Go watch GP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. GP will put a grab a stack this big and be done it in 20 seconds. Like he's like, yep, yep, yep. It depends what you're looking for. For me, it's not fun. No, I prefer to see what you have, even if it's gone. Yeah, or just see, you know, like take take a half a second, right? Like the one the, the breaker I was dealing with a lot. Like he was he was uh, breezy. Like he's 
he's there to like entertain you and there to have a good time with the guys. Like it's just different, right? Like, you know, once again, some people just want want to know what I hit. I just want to know, show me what I hit, and then move on from there. But it's also different, right? Some guys are just there for they just want to, you know, go through as many because. That depends on who you are, right? GP does it two nights a week. Breezy does it every night. So it's like, he doesn't mind sitting by and talking to guys and stuff and having people come back. So. All right. Yeah. See you, buddy. Okay, perfect. Yeah. 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 Do a hundred for these, essentially twenty, thirty, fifty. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem with all of us. Oh, yeah. Those ones are just Thanks, buddy. Can I take a picture? Yeah, sure. What's the Bedard going for? I think 25. 25, 30. What was that? That's the, uh, th those were out of the series two. No, so they would have had different Opeachy. They would have had a base Opeachy back then. So there's a base Opeachy, and then this is the glossy that came out of like uh, series two. So. Series two would have been two, three weeks ago, whatever it would have been. So, but there's, there's, a, there's the base Opeachy, which is kind of the flagship Opeachy. That was like his first card. So. That's not the first one, no. I think those ones are going for like a hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah, I said those are those are just like a little bit cheaper, so. So maybe we'll show the camera out, picked up. So Amanda beside me, Matthew Kachuk, you see nine, Ryan O'Reilly nine, and Dubrovsky, French, nine. All for a hundred bucks. Always a good deal with Sylvain Misaki. Some good sales though, so far? Yeah, she oh. took a bit on. Oh. oh. Looks pretty big. I would have great He wants you to run? He wants you to run it? What's that? He wants you to... Yeah, he just... Uh, uh, consigned it. If I get home and it's really mint, I might say, look, I'll make you... I'll send you an EMT for this much. Some of them get like a print line across the top, yeah, okay. but that's, that no. It's I'm usually like a thing, like you almost have to like almost move like a bunch of different yeah, yeah. like lights, but. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I don't like doing it here. But yeah. I have like a mat. Yeah, yeah. But I'll check it. If, I might message him and say, hey, uh, you want to sell to me? Yeah. And then I'll grade it. Yeah. I just, I have to give him full comps. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. That's, that's what, what it is. is. It's fun talking to everyone though, because everyone's like, I was talking to some people and they're like, it doesn't make sense. I said, it doesn't make sense. And they're like, well. Nothing in the hobby makes sense, no. like price wise. Like you can't, don't try well, to. Well, why, why, why is Bedard, because somebody, somebody put up a, a Crosby PSA 10 for sale and a, and a Bedard PSA 10. And he had 3,500 on the Crosby and four grand on the on the Bedard. And someone's like, this is so stupid. And I'm like, I agree, like, I, but whatever, like, I'm not gonna debate. And the one person, then the person selling it was like, it might be stupid, but like I think Bedard is gonna take over Crosby for points. I'm like, uh, I'm like, which which is fine, but I'm like, you realize when you say that you're saying like it's not just like okay like he's taking. You realize that means he's probably gonna end up top five all yeah, time in exactly, points. Exactly. Yeah. Like top five. Like <laughs> just so you know, like like 
Crosby's probably going to finish top five all yes. time in yeah. the point points. So you are saying <laughs> that Bedard is going to be a top five point producing player exactly. in the league all time. Okay, yeah, that's just, tough. Just, just, want, just want to make sure we're on the same page yeah. here. <laughs> He's smaller, so like injury, like, yeah, like factor in injury. And, 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 and Sid's not a huge guy either, don't get me wrong, true. but it's like... But he's he's bigger than he's, he's got, got more like huge legs and like, he's just he's he's just got more mass to yes, him as a whole. Exactly. And maybe Bedard gets that as time goes yeah, on. He's but still, he's still a kid, right? But it's also like I don't know. Yeah. I I always say I've said for a long time like Crosby to me is so ridiculously underpriced for what he is. I know. Like, I'm with you. Yeah. I don't understand. Okay, well, I do understand because of the hype for the the goal record. Yeah. But Ovechkin's way more than Crosby. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. No. Yeah, it's like three Stanley Cups, this, that, the other thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, he's got like 150 or 200 less games played. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, he also has more points, though, still. Right. It's like, yeah. And a better two way player, and a better, Absolutely. like, hey. Yeah. Ovechkin, he's terrible on the back check. Like. No. He makes it look like he's trying real hard on the back check. Yeah. But yeah. He actually had one last night in overtime. Like, Got on his horse, and you just see like the his typical like yeah. <laughs> like the arms just to go in. I'm like, oh god. So if I look at like points, like other years, like seismic gold, they're 15 to 20, 25, 20, whatever. I do like the point in 20 bucks. No, I actually already have one. Oddly enough. Oh, that's fine, sorry. <laughs> Still too early in the day. It's great, that's a great deal. How you doing? I do have back from Deluxe. I even put a slide for you. Where did I put it? I have it here somewhere. Oh, it's a high value card. I'm it is. <laughs> I got it under lock and key. There it is. Perfect. Thank you very much, buddy. Save me five bucks on shipping. Yeah, exactly. Sh shipping, tax, everything else. It's like a, it's like a six, seven dollar savings right there. Fees for you. Oh my god. All the and then they also you know potentially getting lost in the mail. That's the that's the joys we run into all that stuff now. I don't sell on eBay. Even tracking, I had one, I sold a Joel Erickson Act PSA 10 and uh guy messed me last night, he's like, it's got tracking on everything to the states. He goes, it's not here yet. I'm like, I sold it a while ago. And we checked the tracking number, it's like hasn't moved since like March 11th. I'm like uh, it's moved already, just not, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, ah, so I messaged, I had to like open up a, a claim and this and that, and blah, blah. So it's, I should be lucky because it's only a $100 card, so I might get my $100 back type of thing, but still a pain. Like, the guy wanted the card, I wanted him to get the card. Like, yeah, it just goes missing in the meantime. But. I've got a bunch of Ovechkin rookies I want to sell, but I just don't want to go through eBay. I just, so anyway. It's one of those things, like, and it's obviously biased, but like, if you ever decided to, like we do the consignment thing or whatever. So, yeah, so they, they, as soon as we, like, so what happens is Sylvan and I overnight it. It gets there like, so it's not like whatever, goes right to them. And then as soon as it gets to them, once it gets to them, it's done. So it's like, if it gets lost in the mail, it doesn't matter. Like, like as soon as it sells on the auction, it gets lost in the mail, the guy says it doesn't show up, nothing, doesn't matter. They take care of all of it, so it's, for, for those hunts. Well, yeah, but even like I said, like the thing I have for like that, that Joel Erickson X, like I have full tracking on that. It shows that like it's bounced around all the places, then it's just like stopped on the 11th. But even for them, like once the auction ends and they get paid for it, you get paid out. Like they don't, it's not like, a, oh, it got lost in shipping, we're not gonna pay you. Oh, they said it got damaged. Oh, it, nope, as soon as it goes out, it's there. It's like, also, I think uh, the market settled. I thought about reaching out to you guys because I wasn't sure what the payout was. Yeah, so it's all there. Take one of those, all the payouts on the bottom. So it's, like I said, and, and then if you 
meet up with like if you meet up with us or whatever, like we can take it. You don't even have to worry about shipping it there. Like me and Sylvan essentially like not every week, but most weeks we we ship them out. Like I said, overnight. So we like if we go to a show here or Halifax or whatever. We kind of will collect a couple submissions and then we ship everything out the next day on Monday, and uh, and then it gets there for Tuesday. It goes in that Thursday's auction and so. Currently, I'm on thirty-six percent. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Like so th th they pay out eighty percent on like the higher end stuff. Uh, well, you mean that depends what you go. Three grand. As soon as you get three grand, you're you're eighty six percent payout. Yeah. I don't think I got anything left that would go over three. Yeah. I can't see it. No. Right now, with the money, money makes me no, feel no. free. He scored at least again. You might not, for a while. You had to be a little worried. You're like, oh no, is it over? Like especially start of the year. It's like such a dramatic turn. My thought was he got hammered into the boards real early. I thought he had shoulders. Yeah. Just he wasn't shooting. No. Way off, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for not having the greatest aim in the world, he's, he does pretty well, so, no, it's, uh... Yeah, I'm up here. <laughs> yeah. Good show so far? Bad, not bad. I haven't sold anything like massive, but sold some stuff, so. Yeah, some guy on a beach went to the tennis point last night. All the in the third period, I was like, this is good. I was thinking about you too. Like in, in the second, and they're, they're like, they're like, they're up, and the worst part is they're up 3-1, so you're like. When I was like, there's the FTX, it's gone too. I was like, gosh, dude. You're like, like. You're like, do they take the do, do they take the foot off the gas a little bit? It was only three one, right? Like, I'm like, if they score a fourth goal, like McKinnon just might go in cruise control. Like, I was like, Dylan's gonna be losing his shit. But as soon as I seen that, like in the in the in the intermission, they're like, McKinnon, his streak might be coming to an end. I was like, oh no, <laughs> Dylan, no. <laughs> I did play uh, <laughs> the whole time on the day. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. 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 He, 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 the nice thing though is is he's also trying to chase Kucherov off for the points lead. Yeah. So like even last night they were uh, there was a hit, Manson hit a guy and then um, he got in a fight with Matuda Olivier and uh, McKinnon was like trying to get the instigator because he wanted to go on the power play. They're up 6-1 with like three minutes left or whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, you know he wants the points. Like, I'm like, I think Dylan's bet's safe because I think... I was watching the game, I was just going on my phone and then because I was like, it pops in going into the third period and McKinnon still has no point. I was just refreshing and then I finally saw it and then I got the thing that he scored. I was like, gosh, oh, there we go. It's over. I don't know, I've been thinking about it. It's not like a product I usually get. It's just... The drafting marks are cool and stuff. I don't know, it's just... Yeah. It's just me, like, I don't know. I'm not a big manufacturer pass guy, and, like, that's kind of what most of it is. Like, I don't really know what I want to open next. Like, it's just... Yeah, you got no more content now. You got all your series. Literally. <laughs> I, get, I get three three episodes of Tins left, and that's about it. Oh, fuck, I didn't even notice. Yeah, oh, I, well, I got to I gotta edit them and stuff still and blah, blah, but yeah, I did the... So what are you doing the Cats game today? Like trying to re refer people to join the cross or something? Yeah. Yeah, so try to get just more kids to know about it, and just people to know about it in general, so. Did you talk to Brandon here today? Uh, he was here, I talked to him for like a couple minutes. Can you tell you what he picked up those 19 kind of lacrosse cards? No. That's insane. It is. And they look legit too. Like we, were, we looked over them quite, I think it's tough because they have a quick video. Oh yeah. 
Like they're beautiful, like not no fading or nothing. Is it something I came into the store and just like wanted to get rid of? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got a guy that probably, I got, like, I know a guy, like, because I collected, like, the newer stuff. There's a, uh, yeah. yeah. what's his name, Wax? He has, a, he has 97 out of 100 carats. He has a Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Kilmaker or Canvas. What's his name? What's his name? Black's card collection. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> I was taking fans to lunch, and then I had to look up the prices. I was like, oh, God. like three Did it? I think you're 50% of the other furniture. Yeah, my McCarthy's a 10 and another card for Zola. Right, right, right. There was a part of like a forum too for lax cards that they made, like for the cross cards and stuff. So. I think you can send a few of the light when Army does a vintage order because it's a really nice shape and like it was. It's worth it, man. They were like PSA 4 or something like 15 bucks. If they're legit, he just wasn't sure if they were. But like we looked over and looked, there's like. Legit, so there's like fading. Yeah, but who the f yeah. the only thing with lacrosse, lacrosse cards? Lacrosse cards. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Is, there's one on uh, Alan. I just thought it was weird. I was like, why would he replicate only 97 out of 100? Yeah. It just was really weird to me. So. There's uh. Sorry, I got some offer. Um. I get you to do that. Um, yeah, I, I like I, I ran like last night. I was looking through like the auction sites or whatever. And, like Allen Auctions has like a first edition Charizard Hollow, and like ninety nine percent sure it's like a fake. Like, <laughs> but you know you don't know until you exactly. uh, uh, offer. Me and my. PSA Canada order finally apparently hit Halifax, but I haven't got a message. They, but they never messaged me nothing. So I'm like, fuck, that's uh, two months, literally two months. I, I dropped it off on the 27th. So I'm see how long this will take. Like I said, they got it yesterday. I think, I think they F around a lot. There's a little girl behind me, that's why I didn't swear. But, uh, but yeah, I think like it's just, it's one of those things, like it's, uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, there's a lot to it. It's uh, they're kind of just annoying more than anything. Like I said for two months. Two months is a lot of time, man. That's like, a big turnaround. Yeah. That's why I was like, man, I hope ours is like, like that's with a lot of guys that may well may well lose in the first round. I'm going to try and capitalize on it right away. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, why you yeah. There's everything from small to big. Yep. Whatever. We're not looking for something crazy, so you worked it yeah. 50 bucks? 60 bucks, yeah. He had a... He told me he didn't want it. You can find anything. 25 bucks. I couldn't hit a 10 for that series, but I needed it for my life. Uh, yeah, I'll pass on those. I can find more through there if we need Yeah. Can you do that? A lot of pick cards. Oh, that is... Do you have the card you put aside for me? Yeah. I just want to show you. That, that looks like a case. Good case. Some days. One raw, so in January for 130. It's gone down. What's this in June 100? Yeah, they're, they're like five bucks, I think. Essentially, three bucks, six bucks, four bucks, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so essentially, I said six, so like 30, 30. 
and then I don't, I don't know if you throw in these two, two, and do for that. I said that's twenty bucks, ten bucks, and then they go for thirty, but I was thinking like twenty five. Okay, forty today is what I okay. can. Okay, that's the only one I can. Okay, just because of the value doesn't make sense for me. Okay, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I said t 20 on that because I just bought one off Sylvan, and then I had 10 on that, and then 10 on that, so that's 40 total. So what do you need on top of that? Like 20 bucks. I'd probably do 20 just because I'm, I'm taking in a lot more. Like, I gotta go to the setup of the Wildcats game. We're, we're doing a booth for lacrosse, so. Yes, is that four? Yeah, I thought yeah, four. Why? Isn't it usually on Sundays? Sometimes, Saturdays, Sundays. It's the last game of the year, last home game before the playoffs, so. But, so I gotta leave a little bit early because I gotta go set up at one, so I'll probably leave here. I guess someone bought a, one of those hanger boxes? I hit one. Can you imagine? Pretty good value there. Yeah, but what's the chances? They're not guaranteed young guys, I don't think. No. Oh no, they're that's they're like the worst value out there. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think we got our Omegas coming today. Yeah. Tins are the I think tins are the way to go. Yeah. Like just four young guns, it's just the chances. I never load them out the reading. Huh? I'll have to wait and see. I, w I wouldn't pay the 150, 200 bucks for them, but 90 bucks I think are fine. Even 90 bucks Walmart prices. Yeah. Yeah. But places like Toys R Us sell them from four too. Are they? I think they're right. Why have I hold on to the investigation? It's crazy, man. Hey. You gotta get one. That's all you need is one. Then you just gotta ten it, and then you're you're laughing. I sent three out to get three out to get graded. And they took like three grand or thirty-five. There's gonna be so many. Like that pop. Yeah. <laughs> the pop count on that's gonna be ridiculous. I'm selling every one of them. I said one sold recently for 21. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you get those back soon. It's the pop count we're already seeing is going up. Oh yeah. I think I think the pop count was already close to 100. I think it was already close to 100 already. Like it's, it's crazy. 